Hi guys, so today's video is going to be a giant book haul. I've gotten so many books recently, but before we get into the books, I am actually working with GlassesUSA.com for this video. I was using GlassesUSA.com before I ever was working with them for videos, so it was so amazing when they reached out to me. I was so excited. So I've been working with them for a little bit now, and they are an online glasses company that kind of takes the middleman out of the equation, which makes the glasses way more affordable, and you don't have to go anywhere to get them. They have a virtual try-on, so you just upload a picture of yourself, and then you can virtually try on the glasses. I have had a few people ask me if you only buy the frames and then you have to get the lenses separate. You don't. You can get your prescription glasses through them and the frames, and on top of that, you can also get blue light glasses, which help protect your eyes from electronic devices, the screens, the light that comes off of them. They have their own brands of glasses, but then they also have designer glasses like Ray-Bans and Michael Kors, those sorts of things. They also have both prescription sunglasses and then regular old sunglasses for my <laughs> good sighted friends. It's more affordable. It's convenient. They have a really wide selection. I have just always enjoyed working with them so much. And then like I said, before I even worked with them, I've just always enjoyed their service. I will have glassesusa.com linked in the description bar down below, but jumping into the book haul now, the first book, I picked up Jade War by Fonda Lee. I am planning on reading both the first and the second one in December. Can you guess why? Yes, that's right because they are Christmas colors. I have some interesting quirks, like matching fetishes. I, if I'm playing a board game with someone and it's not any time around Christmas and they pick a red piece, I will not pick the green pieces, even though <laughs> green is my favorite piece to play as in board games. I also feel irked if I don't flip my food upside down before I eat it. I have some interesting quirks, so I just embrace that. And I got Jade War <laughs> so that I can binge these in December and then be ready for the third one next year. Please don't judge me. Next up is a book that I have been wanting to pick up for a while, and that would be Royal Assassin. I haven't picked this up because I haven't been able to find a copy, and finally, I found one. Look at this cover. Is that not the most glorious thing you've ever seen? It's so cheesy. It reminds me of the I think it's the first edition of Name of the Wind where Kafof looks all sexy and shirtless and like Fabio. That's what this reminds me of. But with the wolf also, it's just, it's amazing. Why would anybody ever get the beautiful illustrated editions when that exists? Next up, we have a non-fantasy book, which is pretty abnormal for me. I read mostly fantasy and that would be Room. I grabbed this because of Jessie from the channel Jessie May. She highly recommends this. It is a story that sounds extremely tragic. It is about a woman who was taken and now she pretty much lives in a shed and she became pregnant and she had the child and she's raising the child in the shed and the story is from this child's point of view and they are very innocent and their whole life is this shed and it just really shows a mother's love for their child and it shows a very, very dark thing, but through the lens of some somebody so pure and innocent and apparently it's extremely moving. If you watched my most recent unhaul, you know that my husband and I got over $100 in store credit to our local used bookstore and I found both of these there and the Robin Hobb one was $4.50 and then this one was $8. Speaking of Jessie, since I just mentioned her, I got Sword of Kaigen. This is the buddy read for Jessie's book club, and she asked me if I wanted to co-host for the month of November. I'm nervous. <laughs> I, first off, am not nervous to pick up this book. I've heard nothing but amazing things about it, so I'm extremely excited to pick this one up. What I'm nervous about is the live show. <laughs> I've never done a live show, and Jessie always does live shows with the co-hosts each month, and I'm scared. I, maybe that might strike some people as strange. I've never done an actual live show where it is live. You don't get to edit anything out. <laughs> I've never done one before. I'm a little nervous because if you watched my uh, <laughs> reaction to the Rhythm of War stuff, the preview chapters from Rhythm of War, you've heard how I can get when I'm really excited about something. And I'm just so nervous that I'm gonna go off and then poor Jesse won't get to talk at all. <laughs> Next up is a book that I picked up purely because I saw some bookstagrammers that I follow 
raving about this book, just talking about how it's the most amazing thing. It's so moving. It's so powerful. And that would be Lancelot. And this is, as it sounds, a story about Lancelot. And it's just the writing is apparently absolutely gorgeous. And apparently it's also really depressing. That sounds great. On the topic of King Arthur retellings, I also picked up The Once and Future King. After I got the other one, I saw this at my local used bookstore. Surprise, surprise. It was 13, that's a little more, but again, over $100 store credit. So this is one I've been interested in a while and this edition, I like it. Also at my local used bookstore, I found a copy of a book that I have been wanting for a little bit. It's It was $8 and 80 cents. That's an interesting number to come to, but it is called Borderline. I picked this one up, or I was wanting to pick this one up, I should say, this last quarter because apparently the mental health part, the aspect of the story plays into almost like the magic in a sense. It is more science fiction, but obviously it's, I mean, it's magic. I always say <laughs> science fiction to me Whenever they start being like, and then this formula is why this thing works, and then also the rate of this and the pull of gravity, and I'm like, it's magic, just call it magic, because none of that actually is true, none of that actually works, which means it's magic. So anyway, the magic in the story apparently has a lot to do with the mental health of the character, and their, what would normally be seen as a mental health struggle actually helps them in this particular field they're in, I wanted to pick it up for my, as a part of my September TBR, but I wasn't sure if I could find a copy. And they had a copy and I'm really excited. Grabbing a book from over here, we have Dark of the West. And this is a story I got because Rosaria Munda recommended it. They had it on their Instagram stories, I think. And if you don't know who that is, that's the author of Fireborn. And if you didn't know, I freaking loved Fireborn so much. One of my favorite reads of the year amazing. And now if Rosaria Munda recommends something, I'm going to pick it up. So I picked this one up. Plus the premise sounds really good. I'm hoping it's one of those series that we're all sleeping on. And then I'm going to be like, guess what guys? I found a hidden gem. <laughs> also the plot sounds really good. It follows these two individuals, a girl who is a princess, her mother is a queen, and her rival is convinced that this queen conspired against him. This rival is a general. His wife is killed. He thinks that the other girl's mom did it. And so he sends his son, who's the other main perspective, to go undercover and basically scheme and relay information, be a spy, basically. And so then the two characters, it seems like maybe there's going to be a little bit of a love story, except, you know, he's kind of undercover, that whole thing. Already has built into it some angst and I like politics, I like spy plot lines. It's got a lot of things that I normally like. I'm really excited about it. If I could, I would pick it up now, <laughs> but I have so many other things to read first, but I really am excited about this one. Next up, we got a book that I've been aware of for a little while <laughs> for the silliest reason, and that's because it's called Dark Shores, and Dark Shores is the series name of my series. So the first book, Peace and Turmoil, the series is called The Dark Shores. So I saw this, it came out after mine, but I saw it and I was like, hey, that's like mine. And I jokingly, I wanted to make a joke about how can't anybody, any artist create something without somebody else? What's the, what's the whole thing Tomi Adeyemi said? I wanted to make a joke about it, but then I was scared that people wouldn't realize I was joking. And I legitimately thought this author copied me or something, which I don't think at all. <laughs> but do you guys know what I'm talking about? That whole drama that happened? I thought that whole situation was hilarious. Anyway, this has been on my radar for a while, but I saw somebody on Bookstagram say, how have I not picked this up sooner? Oh my gosh, I loved it. And I was like, okay, well, I'm gonna check it out then. And on the back it says, we know the Dark Shores exist. It is only a matter of time until we find our way there. And I can tell you with certainty that Cassius will not hesitate to destroy your entire people in the pursuit of his goal. You can save them by agreeing to help us now. That sounds pretty interesting. Next, three books come from Liana from Liana's library. Liana is lovely. I'll have her channel linked down below. She is, I mentioned her in a video recently where I was recommending booktubers based off of books you may like. She's a big fan of Joe Abercrombie. Because of her love of Joe Abercrombie, I think she saw, I said in a video that I couldn't find Best Served Cold. 
and I kept looking, I kept looking, and she was like, I have an extra copy, do you want it? And I was like, wow, that's so nice, yeah, that'd be awesome. So she sent me Best Served Cold, and then she was like, I also have a copy of Red Country, do you want it? And I was like, I mean, if you're offering. And then she surprised me and also sent me a little hatred, and it was so sweet, because she sent me a little note that I thought was really hilarious and kind of ironic. She, she, I've known her for quite a while, and uh, she sent this really sweet note about how she knows that my life has been sad lately, but that grimdark ironically makes her feel better. <laughs> and I'm like, that's true. It could always be worse. You could be torturing people and pulling out their teeth. So she sent me this, which I just thought was so, so sweet. And I, I mean, I just, I'm excited. And I'm sure all of you are grateful because I know so many of you have been wanting and waiting for me to pick up Best of Cold because <laughs> I've been wanting to read it for so long. And now I finally have a copy. So thank you, Leanna. Definitely check her out. The next chunk of books all have come from book of the month and this is not i'm not also sponsored by them in this video or anything but i do actually have my own subscription to book of the month as does my husband and he forgot that he has a subscription he was like oh yeah he just thought a lot of their recent picks sounded really good so some of these are more like his picks that he used because the way it works is you can pick, and if there were credits that you accumulated because you skipped certain months, you can then use those to get other other books that you liked from previous months or multiples from the same month. So he realized he had that. I had some credits stored up, so we got a bunch. The one that he was most excited about was Casts. I think he already put that away on his bookshelf, though. But we got uh, these two as well. I'm not going to go through all of them because I know... Everybody and their mom knows what book of the month is, so I got these, and this was an anticipated release of mine, Space Between Worlds, and the bookish mom, if you've not checked out her channel, definitely do, she's precious, and she did a review for Space Between Worlds, so if you are somebody who has heard of this one, but you haven't seen any reviews yet, I'll have her review linked, you can check it out, find out more about it, I definitely am even more excited for that one after that. But guess what? There's more Book of the Month books. I also got these ones too. And the reason there are so many beyond just our credits is that last month they, I think just because of the state of the world, um, my package got sent back to them and I was like, oh man, because I'd been waiting so long and then it got sent back and I was like, hi there, can I have it please? And then they were like, sorry, yeah. And then they sent it and then I got it really quickly. So that's why this is a... It's a combination of mine and my husband's for two different months slash kind of other months too because of the credits. Next up would be Star Daughter. This is another anticipated release of mine and I do want to read a little bit of the synopsis to you all because I think it's going to do a better job of <laughs> relaying what the book is about than me, somebody who hasn't actually read the book yet. So it says that the main character, her mother, became a star and she's always wondered about the stars and then it says um, but as her 17th birthday draws near, the pull from the sky is growing stronger, so strong that she loses control and a flare of starfire burns her human father, an injury only a full star's blood can heal. She has no choice but to answer the star song and ascend to the sky, but her celestial family has summoned her for a reason, to act as their human champion in a competition to decide the next ruling house of the heavens. Desperate to save her father, she agrees, but nothing could have prepared her to face the star's dark history or the forces that are working to shut the gate between the realms for good. I think that sounds really interesting. Any kind of star prophecy, I'm down. The last chunk of books I'm not really going to go into too much. What I am going to say is these are guaranteed to be books that I will be picking up next year. I am really excited because there's more to it than just that, but I'm going to wait and hold off before really talking about those details too much, but just know these are going to be on various TBRs next year. One of them would be The Ruin of Kings. We also have The Tethered Mage and Upon a Burning Throne. And then we have We Ride the Storm and Gideon the Ninth. I'll have all the books I've mentioned linked. I'll have Book of the Month linked if you're interested in that. I'll have GlassesUSA.com linked. But anyway, thanks so much for watching. I hope you have a fantastic rest of your day and I'll see you all later. Bye.